Hello students, today I am going to be explaining three different math activities that you will be doing during math workshop this week. The first one is called walk the line and you will be using this plate, this little container with these beads in it and your recording sheet here. The next activity is the pom-pom toss. You will be using this bowl and these pom-poms and here is your recording sheet for that one. And then the last one is Snap It. You will be playing this one with a partner and you will need some cubes, snap cubes, and your recording sheet. To play the walk the line game, the first thing you need to do is put your name on your paper. The next thing you will need to do is tell me how many cubes you started with. Now this says beans, but instead of beans, we're using little letter cubes. And today in my container, I have six. So I'm going to write down six. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the lid off of my little container and I'm going to take them and I'm going to toss them on the plate. Then I'm going to count how many cubes are on the left and how many cubes are on the right. And I put an L here for you to let you know that this is the left side. And this is an R to let you know this is the right side. So on the left side, I have one, two, three, four beads. So I'm going to put a four there. And over here, I have two. So I'm going to put a two here. So I know that four and two make six. After I do that, I'm going to put all the beads back in my little cup again. And I'm going to do it again. I'm just going to toss them out. Oh, this time... I got all six on the left-hand side, so I'm going to put a six here, and I got zero over on the right, so I'm going to put a zero, and then I'm going to say six and zero make six, and you want to continue doing that until the time is up. If you run out of space here in your table, you can continue on down here. The next activity is the pom-pom toss. Now, again, you want to put your name on your recording sheet first. And then you need to count how many pom-poms you have so you can write in the blank, I threw blank pom-poms. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pom-poms. So I'm going to write the number seven here. Now this says pom-poms inside and this says pom-poms outside. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all my pom-poms and I'm going to step back a little bit and I'm going to try to toss them in the ball. Oh, and I only got one in the bowl. So inside the bowl, I have one pom-pom. And outside the bowl, I have one, two, three, four, five, six pom-poms. So then I'm going to look at my paper, and I'm going to say one and six make seven. And then I'm going to gather all my pom-poms up again, and I'm going to try again. Now, if you notice, they sort of bounced out, so I'm going to try to keep that from happening this time. Uh-oh. Oh, wow. That time I got one, two, three, four, five inside the bowl. And I got two outside the bowl. So I'm right two over here. So now I can say five and two make seven. It's really important that you're doing that talking piece after you throw them. And then you're going to continue this game until time is up. The last activity I'm going to explain is called Snap It. Now this is going to be a little bit harder for me to show you because I don't have a partner here. But in this game you need a partner and you need a set of cubes. And I will let you know how many cubes you're going to be starting with. But for right now, I have 10 cubes. So the first thing I'm going to do is put my name on my recording sheet. And both my, me and my partner is going to have our own recording sheet. Then we're going to have to write how many cubes we started with. Actually, I'm going to do, I'm going to start with five cubes. I'm going to do five cubes. So I'm going to write, I started with five cubes right here. I am starting with five cubes. So I'm going to go first and I'm going to put my cubes behind my back. I am going to snap some off and I am going to show my partner one set of those. So I'm showing them these cubes. So I could say... Okay, how many cubes do you think are hidden behind my back? And they're going to say, well, I see two, 
You must have three mm -hmm. hidden behind your back. And I'm going to show that to them. I'm going to say, yep, you are correct. So then they are going to record that they see two cubes and that three were hidden. Now, I'm not going to write that down. Just they're going to write it down on their recording sheet. Then I'm going to give the cubes to them, and now it's their turn. They're going to hide it behind their back. They're going to snap some off, and they're going to show me some. Oh, and I'm going to look, and I'm going to say, hmm, so I see four, so you must have one hidden behind your back, which is correct. Now, I am going to write down that I have C4, and there is one cube hidden. And then you're going to continue taking turns like that with your partner. Now, the only person that is writing down on their sheet is the person that is guessing. So when you are snapping the cubes, you're not recording anything at that time. I also want to remind you to make sure that after you write down your numbers, that you are saying two and three make five, and four and one make five. That's very important because the whole idea of this is to learn your basic facts. I really think that you're going to enjoy these three activities. Just make sure when you're playing, you are whispering to each other and to yourself and have a great time.